Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to have a look at different backlights in G-Shock watches and also features related to the backlight function. I'm sure you have heard about words such as afterglow, full auto light, electroluminescent backlight, super illuminator, LED backlight and just auto light. So what does each and every one of those mean and uh, how do they work? That's what we're going to have a look at today. Today we're going to have a look at all of the six watches and the different functions they bring to the table. So the first one is the GA700-1. Then we have the DW8300, also known as the Stargate. Next, we have the GW9200PJ-7. Next is a special edition Gorillas collaboration, GWB5600GZ. And then again, another Gorillas special edition, GA2000GZ. And the last one, which is the biggest one among all the six watches, the GPRB1000TF anniversary edition all of these watches have different backlights and also function to it so the ga700 is pretty basic it only has an led light also known as a super illuminator and then we have the dw8300 it has got the el backlight electroluminescent the gw9200 has full auto electroluminescent backlight with afterglow uh, the gorillas 5600 has got full auto led backlight with dimmer and afterglow and then the ga2000 gorillas has got dual led light with afterglow and dimmer and the gprb 1000 tf has got dual led lights before we dive in to see a close-up of each and every light and the features, uh, let me just quickly explain to you how does an EL backlight, electroluminescent backlight work. So it's made out of four different layers. The first layer being uh, the front electrode. It's an ITO layer transparent and conductive on one side. Next, we have a phosphorus layer and then dielectric layer, and then finally a silver layer, all right? So these four components are the only components that is needed to produce a EL backlight. And usually they are produced using a simple silk screen method. And uh, it's literally just layers of ink that has been applied on top of each other. And then finally, when you connect both the ITO layer and the silver layer, the current passing through these layers will eliminate the backlight. I'm going to link a video whereby this will show you how easy it is to actually produce your own EL backlight if you want to give it a try. So let's look at the GA700. So this has got the basic uh, lighting system that you see among all the six watches that we have here. Uh, it has got a single LED light. It's called Super Illuminator. It's just a branding that G-Shock has given to this watch. And uh, you know the light is situated at the seven o'clock marker on the watch itself. And in, and the digital displays does not light up when you actually press this particular button. And it also has a feature called Afterglow. <clears throat> and afterglow is uh, is just the duration after you have pressed the button, the light button, and uh, the light stays on. So for this watch, you can configure it to either one second or three seconds, right? So that's the first one. This one is the DW8300, and this has got a EL backlight, electroluminescent backlight. And uh, if you see here, the difference is EL backlights will have a much more uniform uh, lighting of the entire 
uh, screen and uh, it's way more attractive compared to LED lights. Uh, only The only disadvantage is that uh, EL backlights have lower life compared to the LED backlights. And the only reason I actually wanted to show you this DW8300 is this watch was produced in 1995 and the EL backlight still works pretty good, right? And one more thing to note is that the EL backlight itself, uh, it will not lose its brightness suddenly, it'll, it'll take time. So um, almost halfway through its lifespan, you would start seeing the brightness starting to go down and then eventually it's just going to die out. All right. So this only has EL backlight, no any fancy features. Let's move on to the next one. This is the GW9200. So this one has got quite a bit of features. So it has got EL backlight, like you see over here, a green color EL backlight. And it has, it has also got something called full auto light. So there are two types of auto light system in G-Shocks that you see. Uh, surprisingly, this watch over here on my right side, this GPRB1000, uh, although the most expensive among all the six watches here uh, this only has auto light and this has full auto light so what does that mean all right so both of these i've turned on the auto light systems on both the watches so if you see this watch over here so both these watches so when i do this the screen would light up all right so and if you look at this particular watch when i do that the screen will not light up so but if i cover it and then i do it you see the screen would light up the reason for that is full auto lights will only light up the screen when it detects the amount of light is not sufficient for for the wearer to see the particular uh, time on the watch so the 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 solar panels that you see here is also used to measure the amount of lux that's going into the watch and if the lux level is low only then it lights up the only caution that you need to precaution that you need to take is that if you're wearing like a long sleeve shirt t-shirt kind of thing and uh, and this watch is sitting inside and uh, full auto light is engaged every time you move your hands 40 degrees it's gonna light up and what surprises me for this particular watch for the gprb 1000 is that although this is one of the most expensive watch that we have here it does not have the full auto light so which means regardless of the lighting conditions it's still going to light up the screen and uh, yeah and that's pretty much it all right so this particular gprb uh, 1000 has got dual led lights if you actually go closer you can see it at the side here uh, and it just uh, Light, lights the entire panel from the side and now it just gets distributed uh, uh, to the entire watch face so it's slightly stronger on the right hand side and then you know slightly dimmer on the left hand side as well right uh, both this watch has got afterglow features so you can select so for this you can select how many seconds do you want and for this one uh, you just get a basic uh, settings out of the box all right now look at another two more watches uh, with slightly different lighting system so this is one of the lights uh, the one of, this is one of the watches that has got led backlight so if i trigger it you'll be able to see it and this has got another special feature called dimmer so if you realize when i press the button the light comes on gradually not just it, it's not just an on and off kind of a switch but it dims in and also it dims out as well and this is fully led right it's not el backlight and same goes for this particular watch as well both of these are the collaboration watches that was recently released and uh, so if you see here this one has got the 
dual LED lights. So compared to the GA700 that you saw initially, where the watch will only light the uh, on the outer side, the analog side of the watch, this one will light both the analog and the digital display. So both are LED. One is LED backlight and then the other one is the super illuminator. All right. So when I click on this button, you'll see. And it has also got so uh, the dimmer feature as well. Uh, the light will go off slowly and then, you know, it just turns off. All right. These are the two different lights compared side by side. All right. That's pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys today uh, on the different types of backlights that you may get on your watch. Each and every one of them has got their own pros and cons as well. Uh, my personal favorite is the, well, the EL backlights. Uh, so far, I have not had a watch which has got any failed EL backlights. And I think they are pretty cool. Hope that video was informative and you guys understand your G-Shock watches and how the backlight works a lot more closer. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section. I'll try my best to answer them. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I have more videos coming out soon. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys again in another video. See ya.